Small intestine bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO, is the most common cause of irritable bowel syndrome. Let's have a look at what SIBO is. The digestive symptoms of SIBO are all the classic symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. Abdominal cramping, diarrhea or constipation, as well as bloating shortly after meals. This bloating often gets worse with fibrous foods such as grains, vegetables and fruit, or fiber supplements. As we'll see, SIBO has many causes. One common cause is gastroenteritis. If you've had a few days of diarrhea even years ago and your digestive symptoms have never gone away, chances are you've got SIBO. What exactly is going on in your gut? Let's have a look. The small intestine is an average length of 7 meters and sits between your stomach and colon. It is the major site of absorption of nutrients. Imagine it like a rolled up shaggy carpet. It's covered in finger-like protrusions called villi, which in turn are also covered with microvilli. These microvilli are very important. They release enzymes to help you break down your food so it can be absorbed. As we'll see, SIBO causes a lot of problems here. Our intestines are supposed to have trillions of bacteria, but small intestine bacterial overgrowth means you have bacteria in the wrong place. Normally, the small intestine should have only around 100,000 bacteria per quarter teaspoon of small intestinal content. In contrast, the large intestine has many, as many as 20 billion bacteria per quarter teaspoon. SIBO occurs when normal bacteria from the colon are found in high amounts too far up in the gut, in the small intestine. So what's the problem with these bacteria being in the wrong place? Instead of your microvilli releasing enzymes to help you break down the food, now the bacteria gobble up the food and cause it to ferment. This fermentation produces hydrogen and or methane gas. These gases are only produced by bacteria, not human beings. These gases are the major cause of your digestive complaint. They cause bloating, wind, burping, cramping and diarrhea as well as constipation. But even more problematic, hydrogen and methane gas cause damage to the microvilli, causing nutrients not to be absorbed. This can cause systemic symptoms such as fatigue, hormonal imbalances, restless leg syndrome and much, much more. Other damage can also occur to the small intestine. The small intestine normally has a cleansing wave every 90 minutes. This is a muscular contraction that moves content along. Bacterial overgrowth causes the natural propulsion or movement of the small intestine to not work properly. People who have SIBO see definite worsening of their symptoms when they eat sugary or starchy foods like breads, cakes, pasta, as well as the fibrous foods mentioned before. After years of the bacteria causing damage to the microvilli, people can become more and more intolerant to other foods containing certain sugars such as dairy and fruit. The sad truth is that SIBO almost always goes undetected because doctors don't often test for it, even though it's a major cause of irritable bowel syndrome. So what can cause SIBO? Some medications such as the oral contraceptive pill, acid blockers, antibiotics, morphine and certain heart medications. Surgery such as having your appendix taken out, hysterectomy or other surgical procedures, as well as certain digestive dysfunction and conditions such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis or celiac disease. As mentioned, a previous case of infectious diarrhea or gastroenteritis often causes SIBO, as well as chronic stress and other conditions such as hypothyroidism or diabetes. If you suffer from digestive complaints, please take the quiz right here on this website. It's a quick screen to see if SIBO may be a problem for you. If you test high on this quiz, we recommend you order the lactulose breath test, which tests for hydrogen and methane gas. It's an accurate breath test with convenient sample collection right from your home. Because when you know what's wrong, it's a lot easier to help yourself.